patch 6.4 prep. Get ready and make some bank. Cap your key, battle and crafter slash gatherer currencies in order to purchase the new crafting mats released on patch day. The battle tokens you should look at include Causality Tomes. These will drop to be our second string level 90 tome, effectively replacing Tomes of Stromni come patch day. If unaware, Chianti in Razitan sells crafting mats, which as of 6.4 will be purchasable with Causality Tomes. Expect new materials to be added that will be needed for crafting the item level 640 battle gear also to be added in 6.4. And likely, also newly added food and pots. So on day one, and for a time afterwards, these will be in high demand and thus very profitable. Get working on this ASAP given weekly cap. Capping Astromni Tomes could also be handy as you'll be able to trade them with Aruna in Mordona for more causality tomes from patch day onwards. Note though, you'll only get a 5 to 1 ratio, so 400 causality back for 2000 Astromni. Though I wouldn't start hoarding until closer to patch day as it's hard to say given the 5 to 1 ratio whether it's more profitable to buy and sell 2000 tomes worth of existing material now or 400 tomes of new mats on patch day. So leave as close as possible to patch day before capping. Also, if you happen to have any aphorism tomes still, ensure you trade these with Aruna before patch 6.4 for astronomy, else these will be wiped with no compensation. Next. Buy coloured gemstones which are acquired from doing fates in Endwalker and Shadowbringers areas. Not a definitive winner, but very possible that there could be some new or existing crafting ingredients, not exclusive to gemstones, but also purchasable with them. Possibly for crafting new alkahests if we get them, or food as well. But in addition, it is also possible new items like halving stuff could be added to the gemstone traders, which like everything else will be very profitable on initial release noting that new items might require you to be rank 2 or 3 in a particular zone. Sacks of Nuts, acquired from hunts. If I had to rank them, then likely lowest on my priority list in terms of making gil, though quite possible we're getting an item or two which are nice to have or can be sold, and also possible to trade for materia which we'll get into later. Moving on. Crafter slash gatherer tokens, meaning capping white and purple scripts, with crafting ones being the priority. As long as you have one crafter or gatherer at level 60, then I recommend the quest Arms Wide Open in Idleshire, which will unlock custom deliveries. These weeklies take 15 mins total and can see you capping crafter or gatherer scripts in only two weeks. Purple crafting scripts in particular will likely yield items which will be needed for new crafts like food recipes from the usual crafting exchange vendors, which will be valuable on release. Also, given we had grip gels added for white scripts for the latest crafting gear sets, it's possible we get a useful slash valuable white script item as well. If you're keen to get deeper into crafting, then I'll link to FF14 Teamcraft in the description, where the fantastic folks over there already have theoretical advice on how to meld the current latest gear to ensure you can craft top items from patch 6.4 onwards, as the top gear now won't change until 7.0. If you're yet to max level a crafter and just want to get one level to get in on the action, my recommendation would be Alchemist. Alkahest will be in high demand for others crafting gear, and the latest pots will not only be in high demand as the patch launches, but tend to be the items, alongside food, that maintain the highest demand post-patch, at this point all the way until the next expansion. And additionally, the generally accepted best dump for levies, which will net you approximately half a million gil a week, market board free, is a level 86 alchemist levy named Practical Command. I'll link to my crafting levelling guide in the description to get you there ASAP. On the gathering front, unless a surprise item is added, then the best items for Gil will likely be the Earthbreak Ether Sands, and we'll touch on those in more detail in a second. Though it's always worth checking if gathering material will make you more profit for your scripts. If you're a casual gatherer and don't want to splash out on crafted slash melded gear, then it might be worth being capped to splurge on new purple script gathering gear released in 6.4 which, although won't enable you to hit all the node bonuses, should at least enable you to gather most if not all the new items added. And on the gathering side, there's lots of easy guild to be made gathering new materials added on patch day. It's also a good time to level gathering if you haven't already, as gathering items to reduce into those Earthbreak Ether Sands will be fruitful and you can start stockpiling on those now as they were added in patch 6.3. They will more than likely be needed in all of the new battlecrafts, gear, food and pots though they're likely to rise in price and certainly in demand come patch day. 
If the Aether Sands are your only goal, then leveling a Fisher will be a great as spearfishing provides the, by far the best way of obtaining these. See Virgarius Guppy Fish in Upper Lonosia for farms. Though if you've designs and also gathering new 6.4 items, then I recommend either mining or botany as they'll likely be needed for the majority of new items of value. Materia. A surprisingly contentious suggestion it would appear from comments on videos in the past, so I'll be clear and succinct on this one. Patch 6.4 will bring a huge spike in the demand for Materia 10s and especially 9s, in particular the red ones, just before, on the day and the following week leading up to the release of the new Savage Raid tier. This is down to every raider clamouring to fully meld the new crafted battle gear set released in 6.4. If you've not pentamelded in the past, i.e. added 5 Materi to a piece of gear, then you may be unaware that the RNG chance of a successful meld diminishes as you add more Materia, with the 5th slot in each gear piece only having a 5% chance. Going into 6.2, I had clusters for over 400 Materia 9s, and I still ran out and had to buy more Materia from the market board to finish gear for one job, hence it's plain to understand how crazy Materia demand gets at that time. Ultimately, on and around patch 6.4 release, you will likely get more money for your Materia than you would today, and very importantly, you'll sell it much quicker in larger volumes. So I recommend farming activities like A-rank hunts or stockpiling Materia clusters from things like daily roulettes to have a lovely large pile to shift on 6.4 launch. With the demand spike, you'll get the volume out of the door, which will soon add up. And despite quite a few people doing the same, as with anything inconvenient, the majority won't. I'll link to my quick hunts guide in the description, which will rapidly get you up and involved as it's by far the best way and one of the most consistently lucrative activities in the game. What I would recommend being very careful with though, and I kinda guess is where some people have had their feelings hurt in the past, is with attempting to buy material now off the market board to sell at a higher price later. You can quickly run into bother on this, as the sky in terms of price is definitely not the limit. Quickly looking at my servers, market board as an example, the first material is listed at 2.3k, but you only have to buy up about 60, and you're at 4k apiece, then 9k soon after. With the problem being that it's impossible where to draw the line as to where you'll make profit. So I recommend if you see material at an incredibly low price on the market board, like 1k, snap it up to sell at 6.4 as you're guaranteed a good return. But I wouldn't go far down the rabbit hole on this as it's easy to overpay and end up with nothing for your troubles. Ultimately, turnover of sales is the key rather than just the price. Faux Hollows, always hugely recommended by me. Unlocked via the level 80 quest Fantastic Mr. Faux in Idleshire. You'll play a mini game to earn the Faux Leaves currency after defeating the current Unreal Trial. It's particularly fruitful to hoard leaves as you get closer to the next patch, as rewards will be added which will be purchased with the same currency. New rewards like mounts or minions go for millions of gil all year round, but for particularly high amounts upon patch launch. All done. I'm tingling with excitement for the next patch, hotly anticipated on either the 23rd or the 30th of May. My money's on the 23rd. So hopefully you found this vid helpful and can get prepped for them to make some easy bank. I'd be hugely grateful for the support and encouragement if you could tap those like and subscribe buttons as it's hard to overstate how much it helps. All done. Like and subscribe to complete the duty.